Today, millions of people around the world have the ability to take a photo in an instant. That means that there are more mysterious photos and photos of mysterious phenomena now than ever before. Many are quickly explained away, but many more represent unanswered questions. Number 5 When researchers took new photography technology to a mysterious cave in northern Alabama, they could not have expected the treasure trove of images they were about to discover. Etched onto the ceiling were a number of mud glyphs, hundreds of years old and some more than 10 feet long. At least four could be described as humanoid, but who or what they were made to represent remains a mystery. The cave has been given the ominous name of the 19th Unnamed Cave. That's because it lies on private property and researchers want to protect it from potential vandals. The entrance to the cave is 80 feet wide and faces east. Not far from the mouth, Civil War soldiers etch their names, not knowing about the drawings lying beyond the light. The cave is very short and explorers would need to walk crouched to get very far inside. But that meant they also got a close look at the etchings on the ceiling. The intricate designs at first looked like random patterns with a few animal figures. The natural features on the cave ceiling made it difficult to make out some of the mysterious images, especially in the dark zone, where natural light could not reach. Charred river cane fragments were found on the cave floor indicating the artists used the river cane torches to light up their canvas. With the ceiling being so close to the floor though, they would have needed to be able to see the whole image as they worked on it. It wasn't until new 3D modeling technology was introduced that the mysterious photographs of this artwork could be captured. Using a camera on a track, countless overlapping images could be taken. The technology then highlighted the changes in light reflection from image to image, revealing the most impressive images. As well as snakes and other natural animals, four humanoid figures were highlighted. They looked similar to other humanoid artwork found in the western US, with square shoulders, elaborate headwear, and facing the viewer. Researchers believe these characters would have likely been well known in stories shared in the area at the time. But those stories are a mystery to us today. Carbon dating indicated that the drawings were created between 500 and 1000, in a time known as the Middle and Late Woodland Periods. They would have been created by the Native American people living in the area at the time, likely the ancestors of the Cherokees, the Creeks, Choctaw, and Chickasaw people who were in the area when Europeans arrived. Today, their descendants still know and share the ancient stories. But the identities of these mysterious figures have been lost. It's believed they may have been underworld spirits, as caves are often seen as portals to the underworld, but it's impossible to say for certain. Number 4 At first glance, this photo might not look too unusual. The fact it was taken in an old graveyard might give some people the chills, but that alone isn't what makes this a mysterious photograph. The picture was taken by a tourist visiting the Tynemouth Priory and Castle. The castle lies near the border between England and Scotland and dates back to the 13th century. The Priory has been inhabited since the 1st century CE. The area has seen everything from Viking raids to World War II coastal defenses and recently served as a Coast Guard base before being closed in 2001. Now it serves as a picturesque place for families to get close to history. One family apparently got closer than they even knew. The photo was taken by a woman named Mandy Steele, who was visiting Tynemouth with her two adult children. She snapped a photo of the graveyard with the ruins just in frame. In the background on a small hill is another family, pushing a stroller down the slope. In this chilling photo, a few paces behind the family, another figure can be seen. When zoomed in, the figure can clearly be seen wearing old-fashioned clothes and a hat. She also seems to be holding a bag of some kind. The woman looked extremely out of place. The weather was relatively warm at the time and everyone else was wearing modern summer clothes. The mysterious woman only appeared in one photo. Mandy's daughter was also taking pictures of the same area at the same time. In another photo, the same family can be clearly seen but the mysterious woman is nowhere to be found. 
The photo appears to have been taken moments before the one with the chilling woman, with one of the family members slightly higher up the hill. There would not have been enough time for the ghostly figure to rush from out of the frame to just behind the family. There are plenty of ghost stories from the Tynemouth Priory and Castle, and Mandy believes she may have captured evidence for at least one of those stories. Number 3 On the white background of a snow-covered mountaintop is a small black dot. This mysterious photo is actually a still from an equally strange video, captured on a mountaintop in July of 2011. According to the biologist that captured the image, it was an unidentified creature. The video was captured on July 2, 2011 by biologist Miles Lamont. Miles was hiking up Tracuni Peak with a friend when he spotted something moving on the mountain slope opposite. The figure was at a distance and couldn't clearly be made out by the camera when Miles pointed it in the direction of the creature. According to the witnesses, the creature walked on two legs but was moving too fast to be an ordinary human. It didn't have snowshoes or a backpack and was dressed all in one color, if it was dressed at all. The two hikers couldn't explain what they had seen. For some reason, it took a while for the mysterious images to be made public, but two years after the hike, Miles shared the video on his YouTube channel. The Tracuni Peak is located near the town of Squamish, British Columbia. People living in the area have two legends about the wild people or wild men that are said to have originated in the Howe Sound. Like all sightings of Bigfoot and similar creatures, there was a lot of speculation surrounding the mysterious creature captured on camera. While Miles argued it was impossible for someone to be hiking alone without a backpack or snowshoes, that isn't really the case. After the story gained popularity, a man named Peter Tennant came forward. That same July, he had been hiking the Tracuni Peak without snowshoes or a backpack. He said he was able to walk on top of the partially melted snow. However, Peter had been in the area in late July, while Miles captured the mysterious images on July 2nd. While the creature could not have been Peter, it wouldn't be impossible for it to have been another lone hiker. If that is the case, however, the hiker has never come forward to dispute the images of the Squamish Sasquatch, and for now, the mysterious photo remains unexplained. Number 2 This strange grainy photo was taken deep under the surface of the Pacific Ocean. The string of dark marks is a perplexing mystery that has left deep-sea experts baffled. The mysterious photo was taken by a robot launched by scientists aboard the RSS James Cook in 2015. The research group from the University of Southampton was mapping out a part of the seafloor between Mexico and Hawaii. The area has been targeted for mining. As the group was taking photographs, they noticed the strange indents on the seafloor. The depressions were each 2.5 meters long and more than 30 centimeters deep and spread over an area roughly the same size as central London. There were more than 3,500 in total. The strange notches were relatively evenly spaced. Other mysterious photographs taken of the features showed that they looked almost like footprints of something walking on the sea floor. These weren't man-made, either by mining activities or some other human activity deep beneath the sea. Researchers also concluded this strange phenomenon wasn't geological in nature. The logical answer would be that these strange depressions were created by some deep sea creature, but both the size and the depth baffled experts. The depressions were far too large for any known deep sea creature. Larger creatures like beaked whales fit the size but not the depth. The mysterious photos were taken at a depth of 2.5 miles, roughly 1.5 miles deeper than the known diving depths of whales. While they do match the kind of marks made by whales in shallower waters, the mammals have never been seen or recorded at these depths. There's a lot we don't know about beaked whales and other deep sea mammals. Some sea creatures we only know about due to the teeth found in other animals. It's commonly said that more than 80% of our oceans are unexplored. While it seems strange that something so large could have evaded notice for so long, it's not impossible. Other, even stranger theories about the depressions include the possibility of extraterrestrials or other mysterious civilizations that may have existed once beneath the sea. Number 1 
The Calvin photo has been described as one of the best UFO photos in history, and it's still shrouded in mystery more than 30 years later. The photo was taken by two hikers in the Scottish Highlands in 1990 and appears to show a large diamond-shaped object hanging in the sky. It's one of six photos taken by the hikers that day, and the other five have been lost. The mysterious photo was taken on August 4, 1990. Two men were walking in the hills near the town of Calvi when they noticed something strange in the sky. Above them was a huge diamond-shaped object. It moved silently and terrified the two men. The men sought cover in some woodland. About two minutes later, they heard the sound of jets. They looked out to see the jets circling the UFO and snapped six photos. The men tried to send the story to the local newspaper, but the paper sent the story and the negatives to the British Ministry of Defense. According to the ministry, the negatives were sent back to the newspaper, but the paper claims they never received them. For years, it was thought the photographs were lost. But RAF press officer Craig Lindsay had saved a print of one of the photos. The Calvine photo was made public 32 years after the original mysterious photographs were taken. It shows a large diamond-shaped object that almost looks like a squared-off blimp. In the background, a jet can be seen, which supposedly shows just how large this object was. According to photography experts, the photo itself hasn't been tampered with. The files were set to be released 30 years after the event took place, but only censored versions have been made public. The full version will be made public in 2072. This is supposed to protect the identities of the witnesses who have never come forward to identify themselves. It's not known if the other five images are held in the unredacted file or not. Only a blurry photographed image is included in the redacted file. A photo editor cleaned up and colorized that image. It shows a similar mysterious photo to that held onto by Lindsay, with the UFO and the jet both in frame. There's been no official explanation for the mysterious object. Some theorists suggest that it might be a product of the mysterious Aurora Project, where US forces were aiming to build a reconnaissance aircraft in the 1980s. The existence of such a project has never been confirmed. What is clear is that something was seen in the sky over Scotland that summer day and only one mysterious photograph remains to show that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But my name is Ty Knotts and I'll catch you guys in the next video.